Happy World Plone Day everyone. I would like to present today a new full text search solution for Plone 6, based on TypeSense. My name is Andreas Jung and I am a long time developer and solution provider for Python, Zope and Plone projects. So haven't you heard to TypeSense? TypeSense is a relatively new, fault tolerant full text searching solution that provides a decent search experience for the user which is comparable to Google search. In addition to that, a faceted search is available as an option which is comparable to what we have in Plone through the EEA faceted search plugin. TypeSense is very easy to install and to maintain, and it is of course free and open source. As a start, let's have a quick look into a TypeSense demonstration. Here you can see the combination of a full text search with immediate user feedback. Together with the faceted search search allows you to filter the search results based on metadata. So why do we need a new search solution for Plone? Because an enterprise content management solution requires a decent search. The default search engine is about 20 years old and no longer state of the art. My own text index ng3 add-on for Plone has been around for longer than a decade. However, the implementation is tied to Python 2 and therefore no longer maintained. The most professional searching option for Plone is Collective Solar. However, the installation and maintenance of Solar is always a bit hairy. For these reasons, I was interested finding a more decent solution for Plone 6. My requirements were, providing a good search quality comparable to Google, the solution should be easy to integrate, it should be based on decent technology like JSON and REST and provide support for fault tolerant search, in addition, a cross plone site search would have been nice. Let's have a look at the TypeSense features. TypeSense is a very modern search engine. The most useful feature in the context of Plone are, TypeSense deals to some degrees with spelling mistakes. In addition, the ranking of search results can be freely adjusted. Filtering and refining your search through facets is another highlight. On the technical side, TypeSense can be clustered depending on your scaling and high availability requirements. And of course, TypeSense is free and open source. This graphics shows the flow of data and control between Plone, TypeSense and your browser. Firstly, Plone talks directly to TypeSense when content has to be indexed or unindexed. However, the search interaction happens always directly between the browser and the TypeSense server. Plone provides a declarative template for the search form to the browser, together with a JS app JS which configures the search form. The search request is directly sent to the TypeSense server without any interaction of Plone. TypeSense organizes the index documents in collections. A collection and its indexing configuration is described through a configuration file. The configuration file itself lists all indexed fields and their types. Basic data types are integer or string, or array of integers and strings. Dedicated fields can also be marked for further usage as a search facet. Now let's talk about search customization. As mentioned earlier, the search user interface for a types and search is automatically generated from a declarative HTML template that defines the layout and the lots for the search form, the facets, the search results and supplementary information. A search template is always associated with a specific JavaScript application file which provides the configuration like the address of the types and server but also some search specific configurations. The JavaScript application by itself assigns individual elements of the HTML template to widgets. Typesense comes with a lot of widgets for example for providing filters for refining the search based on content metadata. Almost everything like renderers. CSS classes etc. can be configured and customized. The TypeSense integration package for Plone 6 supports out of the box all dexterity content types and their Dublin core metadata. More complex content types can be indexed using a customer indexing adapter. There is also optional support for indexing binary formats like Word or PDF using an external Apache Tina server.
Now, let's see how you can install and configure collective.typesense in Plone 6. The installation of Typesense is not different from other Plone add-ons. After installation, you go to the Typesense control panel and enter some connection parameters like the name of the collection to be used, the API keys of Typesense and the URL of the Typesense server. In this case, I am using my own search cluster running on-premise on one of my own servers. The configuration scheme of the Typesense collection with all fields and their types can also be configured directly through Plone. There is another Typesense administration panel. This panel allows you to perform some maintenance operations like creating a Typesense collection, re-indexing all content, or importing a demo collection. And now, let's check how the auto-generated search form works out of the box. This video shows how Typesense delivers blazing fast search results as soon as you type or change your search query. The facets on the left allow you to refine your search based on metadata like the portal type, the review state, document language or subject. Typesense also handles typos or spelling mistakes very well, to a certain degree. As you can search, you can also search for search terms in the singular or plural form. This gives a better user experience and users will be enabled to find the information that they are searching under their fingertips. There are a few things that you should keep in mind. First, all indexing operations are done asynchronously. Second, there is no direct integration with the Plone Access Control System. For technical reasons at the moment, in general, Typesense should only be used on sites that are either fully public or fully private. Third, the primary focus of my Plone integration right now is on public sites. Last but not least, let's check the deployment options. First, Typesense can be installed locally or on-premise either using Docker or a single binary which make the installation very easy and very approachable. Second, the company behind Typesense provides Typesense Cloud as commercial software as a service offer in the cloud. In general, the maintenance of Typesense is very easy. You can install Typesense as a single node installation or as multi-node cluster if you need to care about high availability and scalability. Typesense version migrations are very easy because Typesense cares automatically for you. You can find additional information about Typesense on their homepage typesense.org. Information about the Plone integration of Typesense can be found either on the Python index or on GitHub. Thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you in person at the next Plone conference in fall 2022.